This morning, we're launching a new series called Today's Real Heroes. Our national correspondent, Natalie Morales, is here with an unforgettable pair, Natalie. And it's a story you have to see to believe. Our real heroes today are Dick and Rick Hoyt, better known as Team Hoyt. And if you haven't heard of them yet, be prepared. They are almost legends in their own right. And you'll see right now why they are heroes to so many. This is one of the greatest love stories of all time. A story of a father who climbs mountains and runs to the ends of the earth and back to give his son a better life. A life that transcends the limitations of his body. Registration for the 25th Ironman continues one by one. Some faces we recognize. Here is 58-year-old Richard Holcomb, number 214, back for a second try. He's legally blind and it doesn't matter to him. No, the thing that must occur at all costs is this time, cross the line. It's more than a race. It's a lifetime event that we'll remember for the rest of our lives. They're either going to carry me off the course or um, I'm going to cross the finish line. The stories about people like Richard Holcomb pass through this world as race week moves toward this morning. Hey, did you hear about the man who is legally blind? People love to tell and love to hear the stories. Then, appearing near the start line, where they've been before, are father and son, Dick and Ricky Hoy. There is no one here who hasn't heard about them, their story, and a human commitment that goes far beyond and far back. January 10th, 1962. We knew there was something wrong, but we did not know exactly what. <laughs> the doctor said, forget Rick. Put him away, put him in an institution. He's gonna be nothing but a vegetable for the rest of his life. We cried a little bit. We talked and we said, no, we're not gonna put Rick away. We're gonna bring Rick home and bring him up like any other child. We knew Rick was smart. We could tell by looking in his eyes. And when we talked to him, we, you know, he was paying attention to what we were saying. So we wanted to get a computer built so Rick could communicate with us. Everybody came to our house that night for Rick to say his first words, and everybody was betting, you know, what is the first words Rick is ever going to say? His mom saying, it's going to be, hi, mom, and me to dad saying, oh, it's going to be, hi, dad. Well, the Boston Bruins were going for the Stanley Cup, and the very first words Rick ever said was, go Bruins. Dick is a military man, so he knows a thing or two about commitment. This time, he's just months removed from a heart attack. This gift that he gives to his son, or is it the other way around? Either way, it all started when Rick heard about a charity run for a paralyzed athlete. He asked Dad, and Dad said yes. The gun went off, and we went off with all the other runners, and everybody thought that Rick and I would just go to the corner and turn around and come back. Well, we didn't. We finished the whole five miles coming in next to last, but not last. And when we got home that night, Rick wrote on his computer, Dad, when I'm running, it feels like my disability disappears. So that was a very powerful message to me that we finally found a sport that Rick could get involved in just like everybody else. Rick is my motivator. He inspires me. To me, he's the one out there competing, and I'm just loaning him my arms and my legs so that he can compete. There's just something that gets into me when I'm out there competing with Rick that I can't explain it, and we're able to go faster. And it, it's just an unbelievable feeling. Rick and I love the Ironman triathlon, to be out there competing with the best triathletes in the world, to be accepted to compete along with these triathletes. 
just to be out there on that pier with all the other triathletes and then waiting in the water for that cannon to go off. It, it was just so exciting. The feeling coming down the finish line at Leaky Drive, it, it's just an awesome experience. With the crowd there, all the excitement, the noise, and the announcers announcing all that, the adrenaline just gets flowing. I may be disabled, but I live a very fulfilling life. And if someone takes the time to get to know me, they will realize that I am no different than anyone else. Here he is, he graduated from public high school. He's graduated from college. He's out there competing in road races and triathlons. He lives a happier life probably than 95% of the population. Rick would tell you that, uh, you know, if he, if he was physically able to do something, that he'd probably play basketball or football or hockey. But then he always says, no, the first thing he'd do is sit down and have me sit down in his wheelchair and he'd push me. You know, it really makes me feel good that, uh, that you know, he appreciates, you know, what I'm trying to do to help him out, and he'd do the same thing for me. Our message is, yes, you can. You can do anything you want to do. As long as you make up your mind, you can do it. If you have ever searched for the meaning of life, stop. The answer lies right here. By the way, Ricky would want us to tell you, the Bruins look pretty good this year. marathons, six Ironmans, all the way Dick pulls, pushes, and carries Rick's 110-pound frame over the course of the 2.4-mile swim, 112-mile bike ride, and 26.2-mile run.